Hello everyone, it is Corinne here with another What I Eat in a Day video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload every Tuesday as well as Friday. And again, starting off my day as per usual with a cup of coffee. I'm adding in some sweetener and I like to use monk fruit sweetener for those who don't know. And then I just like to add in my coffee. And alongside of this, I also love to use the creamer I use, and I'm so excited because Silk now came out with a large size of these creamers, which is super exciting, so I will need to pick that up in the future. Also, I am so sorry if I still sound sick. I am still sick, and I'm still getting over this, this infection I have, but hopefully tomorrow it'll be gone. And yeah, I can only hope for the best and do what I can, right? So with that in mind, I think it's really important when you're sick to listen to your body and what your body needs. So I figured I should eat a lot of vegetables today and so I decided to make a stir fry cooking up some rice noodles here, which now I am all out of rice noodles. And sadly, the last time I went to the grocery store, all the rice noodles were gone. I was devastated because I did plan on picking up some, but I guess not. And then to this, I'm just adding a little soy sauce. I'm just using these soy sauce packets that I have from ordering in sushi. I'm not going to lie. During this, uh, this quarantine, I've kind of been ordering in a lot, my partner and I have, and so we've been getting a lot of sushi because that's kind of our go-to and the thing that we really like getting, so I have a lot of soy sauce packets and not very much tamari left. Anyways, on my noodles, I just added a little sriracha, and then here I'm adding a little teriyaki sauce to the veggies. I like my noodles to be saucy, but I also like my veggies to be saucy, hence why I kind of add sauce on both. And I do also end up adding this teriyaki sauce to my noodles as well. I'm also adding in some garlic and onion powder since I realized I didn't add any garlic or onion to the stir fry, sadly. And I do have onions, so I really should have thought about that, but my mind's not fully there, I guess, but... You can also see that there is tofu added into the stir fry. I guess I haven't really talked about what veggies are in it. So I have some zucchini and also just a frozen mixed bag of veggie and then also that tofu. And yeah, I'm going to add in some spinach because all the nutrients and microgreens we can get into our systems is so good for helping boost that immune system and make sure that we're fully taken care of and we're fully getting in all the proper nutrients and essential nutrients that we need for our bodies to fully function. Now I'm just mixing together the noodles with the sauces that I put on. I want to make sure I mix it well enough. You can see with rice noodles, it usually gets a little sticky, so I'm just mixing it as best I can. All that's left is to add my stir fry on top of my noodles, and I always try to add it on nicely but honestly i just end up dumping it on anyways and of course i like a little extra sauce on top since i don't use that much sauces during cooking so i'm just adding on hoisin and sriracha on top of that oh and some lemon juice can't forget the little squeeze of lemon juice although lime is definitely preferred Maybe I'll pick up a lime next time I'm out, but that was my first meal. On to meal two. Since it was my birthday over the weekend, we ended up having a breakfast for dinner the one day, so I'm kind of recreating that, and here I have some cubed potatoes that I'm just heating up in my air fryer, and then I'm going to take Daya, these Eve's breakfast patties, this hollandaise that my partner made for my breakfast for dinner the one day and then the other half of the tofu block we only ever really use half a tofu block when we're doing breakfast for dinner first i'm gonna cube up this zucchini and add that to a pan just to add some extra nutrients into our tofu scramble and this is a massive zucchini it was huge but it was on such a good price that i couldn't not get it and then to that pan, I'm just crumbling up 
that other half of the tofu block that you saw in the previous clip. And I just really like to take my time with this and make sure it's all nice bite-sized chunks. Nothing's too big or too crummy or too small. And it's kind of around the same size as the zucchini chunks. And then here I have a seasoning, which I can totally show in the future how I make my tofu scrambles because both my partner and I have agreed that my tofu scrambles are kind of the best tofu scrambles we've ever had. And so before I add that seasoning, I add a little bit of soy sauce or tamari, but again, I'm pretty low on tamari and it just really helps to get everything to stick together and fully disperse into the tofu scramble. And so I'm just going to mix that up and let it cook. I also love to let mine brown a little. I just think it's a really nice added touch. If you want, you can also use butter in the cooking process, but I avoid that. I've also added some salsa into this and parsley just for extra nutrients and color. And that's what the tofu scramble is looking like. Nearing the end of cooking, I also add in some spinach because again, why not get more greens into your day? And it's pretty easy to hide spinach in the tofu scramble. Here you can see I'm just pulling apart those patties and I'm just going to cook these up on a nonstick skillet. And yeah, I'm just going to let those cook, let them brown. And then once they're fully done cooking, I'm going to cut them up into bite-sized chunks to put on top of our scramble. These breakfast patties are pretty good and I think they definitely add a nice flavor and texture into our scramble. I'm also going to have toast on the side and putting a little vegan base cell on top of that. Of course, I don't normally consume butter and stuff, but during this time, I think it's so important to not just eat foods that are healthy and good for us but also foods that we fully enjoy and want to eat and can help us mentally in a sense you know there's food that is healthy for your body and food that is healthy for your soul so during this time I definitely want to focus on yeah eating healthy food but also food that makes me happy so here you can see I have the potatoes the daya the patties and then of course the scramble mixture and I'm just gonna put that all together and then after all of that is set together I'm gonna add on top the hollandaise which I showed earlier and with the hollandaise we just reheated it in the microwave quickly of course making fresh hollandaise is super duper recommended and of course on top of that I need my hot sauce so I'm just using my Valentina's hot sauce and on the side of this I'm gonna have some orange juice because again orange juice get some nutrients citrus and a vitamin C so important and this is the finished meal here's another shot where I think the toast just looks super cute definitely a delicious meal and to end my day, I decide to have some tea since again, I am still getting better from my cold, adding a little monk fruit sweetener into that and drinking this throat coat tea. It's supposed to be really good when you're sick. And then it has a cute little quote on it. I love when teas have quotes. I think it's such a cute added touch for when you're just unwinding for the night or whenever you choose to have your tea in the day. So that is all for today's video. I know it doesn't seem like I ate very much today, but again, since I'm sick, it's really important for me to listen to my body and listen to its needs and also keep in mind those were two pretty large sized meals. I do think it's important for us to listen to our bodies and understand what they fully need on the daily basis. So I'm still working towards that. But again, like I said, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and know that you are magic and healing is possible. Please take care. Until next time, peace out. Yeah.